are drawing a cat inspired by the artist Romero Brito. We're going to be drawing the cat together and then we'll talk about how we'll design him in just a minute. Okay, here we go. Okay, now that everyone has a cat on their paper, you're gonna go in and kind of personalize your cat to make it more unique and your style. Sometimes Romero Brito includes a bow or a crown on top of the cat's head. You don't have to do this step if you don't want to, but I am going to really quickly add a crown on top of my cat's head. This is totally optional. Okay, now I'm gonna give a horizon line where the ground meets the sky so it doesn't look like my kitty is floating in space. So this line should go from one side of the paper all the way to the other. And you wanna skip over your cat. Now from here, you wanna divide up the space. Pick one line and section off this area. So you have a couple areas of space and it doesn't have to look like mine. You can use whatever kind of line you want. So it doesn't have to be a diagonal line. Now in the background, you wanna kind of section off the space in the same way, but using a different style or technique. So I don't wanna continue diagonal lines in the background because it would make the background confusing from my ground. I wanna make them look different. So all I'm gonna do is section off areas of space for the background. And that's where I can include my designs and lines. So it looks different and unique back there. Okay, so now I have one, two, three, four, five for the background, and then I have the ground section off with diagonal lines. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to colors, and I'm gonna start adding a different line, design, shape, pattern to each of these sectioned off areas. I'm also going to divide my kitty's face in half and have one half designed one way and one half designed another way. Don't color your kitty in just yet. You just want to be adding designs, patterns to each of the sectioned areas. Try and use a lot of color and a lot of different ideas. Okay, here we go. Now that my cat is covered with designs and patterns and shapes and lines, I'm gonna go ahead and paint him in. I'm gonna use a lot of different colors and I'm gonna really try and paint each area a different color or multiple colors. Okay, here we go.
All right, my cat is painted. Um, I colored every single space. I tried to alternate what colors I was using. I can't wait to see what you do with your cat. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and I'll see you next time artists. Bye.